Okay, this video is um, to help you with multiplying and dividing powers. And we're only dealing with integer exponents here, so no fractional exponents. Um, I'm just going to do a few examples from the con topic. So the first one I got was 5 to the 10th divided by 5 to the 12th. Well, 5 to the 10th is 5 times itself Ten times. Five to the twelfth is five times itself twelve times. Well, if you write that out, not that you're going to do it this way, but if you don't know your rules of exponents, this is the way to remember it. You just ideally pick an example where you don't have a big exponent, but probably should have done that. I'm just doing some whatever pops up on con. 5 divided by 5 is 1. So these cancel out. And I'm left with 1 over 5 squared or 1 over 25. Now the shortcut is to, this is 1 over 5 to the second, the shortcut is to just subtract the exponents. And if I subtract 10 minus 12, I get negative 2. So this is really 5 to the negative 2 power, which is 1 over 5 squared. Now, when I wrote it out, I didn't have any negative exponents because I just had the two 5s left over in the denominator. Um, but you could always refer back to the, the exercise on negative exponents or just look at my video explaining the negative exponents if you're confused on this part. Okay, let me type that in and see what pops up next. Now when I type that in, I'm just going to type in 5 to the negative 2, but I think you could type uh, 1 over 5 squared also. Okay, the next example is z to the negative 11 times z to the negative 15. I'm going to make these smaller just so I'm not writing z so many times. So I'm going to change this and say like z to the negative 3 times z to the negative 5. Okay, so that would be um, 1 over z to the 3rd times 1 over z to the 5th which is 1 over z times z times z, z times itself, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 times. Here's z to the third, and then here's z to the fifth. So that would be 1 over z to the eighth, which is z to the negative eight. So the shortcut is you just add the exponents. That would be z to the negative 8 if I added negative 3 and negative 5. I'm going to type that in. Oh, whoops, I typed in the one that I did, not the one they gave me. Negative 26. So for this example, you would add negative 11 and negative 15, and that would be z to 26. Okay, the next example is 4 to the 6 times 4 to the negative 8. So I'm multiplying the powers, which means I'm going to add them. So if I add those together, 
or if, if it helps to write it out, I mean, I wouldn't expect you to write them all out, but if you're still struggling, that's four to the six, four times itself six times, divided by, this is one over four to the eighth, so it's four to the six over one, times one over four to the eighth, And remember, four divided by four, any number divided by itself is one. So that would give me one over, if there's nothing left over on top, that's one, because this is really like saying one times one times one times itself six times, times one over four times one over four. So there's really a one left over on top, one over four squared. Now the shortcut would be to just add the exponents. Six plus negative eight is negative two, so that would be four to the negative two, which would be one over four squared. Okay, hopefully that is, I'll see what I get next, but I don't think you're gonna get anything more difficult than the examples that I've done. Well, maybe let's do this one. B. to the negative two over b to the fourth. I guess they do get a little tricky if you've got two negatives. Um, so this is like saying one over b squared, this is b to the negative two, divided by b to the fourth. So that's one over b squared divided by b to the fourth over one, which if you remember copy.flop or however you learn this in middle school, when you're dividing pop fractions, you change this to multiplication. So it's one over b squared, then you multiply by the reciprocal. So you multiply by one over b to the fourth, which would be one over b to the sixth, because I'm gonna add these together. I'm multiplying b squared times b to the fourth. That would give me b to the negative six. Now the shortcut is I'm dividing, so I would just subtract the exponents, so negative two minus four is negative six, which is gonna give me b to the negative six. I'm starting to see the same types of problems. Hopefully that is helpful and the con topic builds your confidence.